This short video will show you how to catalogue and list parts from a vehicle using the Inventory Pro application. We will also demonstrate how to check key stock and sales data from your Pinnacle system and PinNet to assist in making inventory and pricing decisions. To use the Inventory Pro application, you will need to ensure that your application is licensed and the vehicles that you wish to inventory have a PDR assigned. Wi-Fi is required to download the PDR, upload the PDR and check PinNet stats. The rest of the inventory process can be done out of wireless range if required. The first stage in the process is to identify which vehicle you wish to list parts for. This vehicle should currently be in the system with the status and inventoried. We need to move the vehicle from uninventoried to pre-dismantled status. This downloads the PDR from Pinnacle. Select uninventoried from the menu. The vehicles held for your site at uninventoried status will be listed in stock number order. To find a vehicle from the list, you can search by model name or stock number. In this example, we have searched for a Golf. To move a vehicle to pre-dismantled status, simply select the checkbox to the left of the vehicle, then click Inventory. The vehicle has moved to the pre-dismantled menu. Select pre-dismantled. Then select the vehicle you wish to inventory parts for. A search field is available if needed. Select inventory. The default PDR for this vehicle is displayed. Search the list and select the parts you want to add to the vehicle inventory. Select the correct part type from the interchange list displayed. This screen is used to update the status, condition and price of the vehicle, as well as add any relevant public or private comments. Condition may be restricted by age and mileage of the vehicle. Any existing stock you hold on site will display at the bottom of the screen along with recent sales and pricing statistics. This is useful when making decisions on what parts to add to inventory, where to store them and how to price them. In the stock table, you will see a breakdown of recommended and current inventory levels. As this is the test system, we are showing no results here, but this will populate from your live Pinnacle data. Key sales statistics will show in the stats section of the inventory table, where you can compare recent part sales and searches. The prices table shows key pricing data for this part, including the recommended and average price, providing this has been entered for all inventory. Select Find Parts to see the current listings for this part across PinNet. The live listings on PinNet are displayed with the site, status, part condition and price if this is populated. This data is useful to see what other yards have in stock when making inventory decisions. Select the back arrow to return to the part listing screen. Click OK to complete the part details and return to the PDR list once you are happy with the details on this screen. The part now displays a chevron to the left to indicate that there is a documented part waiting to be added to inventory. Select the arrow to see the part interchange selected for inventory. You are asked if you have finished with this vehicle. You will not be able to add further parts to inventory using Inventory Pro after this point. We will select Yes. The parts are now added to the parts list for the vehicle and the vehicle no longer displays in the pre-dismantle list. The parts are now added to the parts list for the vehicle and the vehicle no longer displays in the pre-dismantle list. In summary, move the vehicle from uninventory to pre-dismantle status. Select the vehicle from the pre-dismantle menu to view the PDR for that vehicle and add parts to inventory. Use the Find Parts button to view parts of that type already listed in PinNet.